Hi, I'm Audrey Perez. I'm going to go over postpartum support. One of the great tools from Young Living is their Clariderm spray, which um, is a spray that soothes dry, chapped, or itchy skin. It's a gentle blend of lavender, frankincense, and other essential oils expertly formulated to relieve occasional skin irritations. Now for postpartum, you spray it down there <laughs> after delivery and it's, it's very cooling. You put it in a fridge, it's supposed to help your skin bounce back. Um, so if you can't get your hands on Clariderm, like me, I kind of had to figure out how to make my own spray and also you can use the spray to create padsicles, which is very helpful. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna use witch hazel, aloe, um, water, lavender, frankincense, and clary sage. Um, for the witch hazel, you just wanna make sure it's alcohol free and unscented. Um, that way it doesn't burn, okay? So for witch hazel, we're gonna just take a glass um, jar. Let's see, I haven't even opened this. Should have opened it earlier. There you go. We're just gonna do six tablespoons of witch hazel, which is about a quarter cup and a half. I'm gonna grab it from here. two more tablespoons. Okay, got your witch hazel. And then for aloe, it's three tablespoons of aloe. drops of lavender. Three drops of clary sage. And six drops of frankincense. Okay. And then we're going to top it off with a quarter cup of water. And we're just going to mix that. Make sure it's... Usually I would just pour this in a a shaker bottle and just shake it or a spray bottle and shake it but I want to do it in a more portable bottle so these are one ounce bottles I intend to fill maybe four of these and have them all over the place one in the fridge one in my go bag um, and I also want to make padsicles so in terms of making my padsicle just gonna get my funnel Put some in here. Whoa, too much. Okay. So for your pansicles. You just want to dampen it. You don't want to put too much because you don't you don't want it getting too hard where you can't even use it as a pad. So you just kind of want to dampen the pad. All right. 
And then we're just going to put it back in a wrapper, put it in a Ziploc bag, and pop it in your freezer. And just take one out and put it in the fridge right before you're about to use it so you can kind of crack it open. And just pop it in my full freezer as it is. <laughs> Thank you.